What's up guys, it's Colin, welcome back to another video on the Brickaniac channel, and today I have another Cobra Kai custom set for you guys. This one is based off of the Miyagi-Do Karate Dojo from Cobra Kai, and it is super packed with details and references to the show. If you're a LEGO fan and a Cobra Kai fan like myself, then I'm sure that you'll love this set. But anyways, let's just get started with the figures. The first character is Daniel LaRusso, the sensei of Miyagi-Do and the most notable exclusion from my previous Cobra Kai set. Anyways, he uses the Commissioner Gordon hair from the Lego Batman movie in black. He has a smiling expression as well as the blue and white bandana that Mr. Miyagi gave him all those years ago. He also has a black belt and is wearing the white gi that all the Miyagi-Dos wear. The next character is Sensei Johnny Lawrence. He has a pretty similar facial expression to the one that I used in my previous set, just this one has a bandana. He also has the same hairpiece, but his t-shirt is the one that says Eagle Fang Karate, and I just really wanted to include that in the set. He has dual molded arms as well as some brown jeans. The third minifigure is Sam LaRusso, and her outfit is based off of the outfit that she wears in a few episodes of Season 4. Anyway, she has dual molded arms and legs that have shoes on them. She also has the hoodie that she wore in a few episodes, like I said. She uses the Nia hairpiece in brown, and she has a worried expression that you can flip around and change it to an angry expression. The last character in the set is Dimitri, and he has the comb over hairpiece in dark brown. He has a smiling expression that you can flip around and make it a totally beaten up and sad expression. He's wearing gray pants and has a white and dark blue jacket on, as well as a light blue shirt underneath that has a Lego banana printed onto it, which is just a Lego fly design of his Say Banana shirt that he wears in the show. I'm really happy with how these figures turned out, but anyways, let's move on to the builds. The first build is the Koi Pond. It has a ton of rocky and planty detailing all around, as well as a 4x4 circular plate in the middle that has a dome piece attached underneath it. And since it's not attached to any studs, you can just have it wiggle around and have characters try to balance on it, just like in the show, which I think is a really cool play feature. So before we get on to Miyagi-Do, I do have two more side builds. One of them is just a white punching bag like you see in the show, and you can have characters practice on it, or I guess if you had a rope piece, then you could attach Dimitri to it and have characters beat the crap out of him. The other build is just a small deck. I used an angle piece and a hinge piece to make it at an angle, and there is a black lantern attached to it. There are multiple decks all around Miyagi-Do if you look in the show, so I just wanted to replicate that here, and I think it looks pretty accurate. Anyways, let's move on to the main build of Miyagi-Do. So here it is, Miyagi-Do Karate. As you can see, the roof has many different angles, which were accomplished using different hinge pieces and things like that. All around the sides are some plants, and in the front is a big deck. Now let's move on to the interior of the build. So here's the interior. Interestingly enough, it kind of reminds me of the Stranger Things set a little bit, because it's split up into three main sections, just like that set. Over to the side you can see the first section is the Memorial of Miyagi. It has the picture of Miyagi, just like in the show, and some candles around it. It's on a 2x5 black table, and underneath it are some grey mats, and in front of it is another mat. On the other side is a little training area. You can see on the wall is a 2x3 printed tile that has one of Daniel's old geese in it, Next to that are some sticks that people can train with. Here you can see Sam is training with one of them. And behind her are some banners that have the Japanese markings that you can see in the show. Finally, here's the completed set altogether with all the builds and figures. And I really do think that this looks like an actual set that LEGO might make if they did have the license for Cobra Kai. I hope they do get it in the future because I'd love to see some sets based on this theme. Anyways, here's the box art that I made for this set, but yeah, if you guys do have any other ideas for LEGO Cobra Kai sets that I could make in the future, or just any LEGO sets that I could make in the future, then make sure to comment them down below because I always love hearing from you guys. And believe it or not, I do actually look at people's ideas when thinking of what videos to make next. But anyways, if you did like this video, then make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if if you haven't already and uh yeah that's about all i have for you guys today have a great day and go build something awesome